So last week I had a color analysis done and I found out that I am in autumn. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup routine using my new autumn colors. I have two lipsticks to try. These are both from House of Color. They've developed lipsticks for each season, which is awesome. You don't actually have to do a color analysis through them to shop these products. I also got a new mascara. This is my first time having a brown mascara. My entire life I've been using black mascaras, but turns out I should be using brown since I am in autumn. So we'll be trying that for the first time today. I also have this Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Joy. This is a nice warm coral, so I'm thinking that this would definitely fit within my autumn color palette. So we shall see how all these new products look together. The rest of my makeup routine I'm going to be doing as usual, but I want to take you guys through it, show you the products I use, and also just use this time to kind of chat and let you guys get to know me a little bit more. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, and I'm in the shade 2, which is Fair Pale. I like how fair wasn't enough and pale wasn't enough. They had to really use both. And I just do that here on my forehead and on my chin. It just kind of is a nice glow. For foundation, I've been using this Kosas foundation. It has SPF 25 and this has been fantastic. I really liked it. And I'm in the shade Very Light Cool 120. They are like really shoving in your face. Very light. It's like, okay. So for that, I typically just go like this on my forehead too. And maybe like here and here, but it's not super crazy. And I'm going to use a brush. This is the Morphe brush and just blend that all out. So if you're coming from the, my last video, my color analysis video, that video popped off. And I got some questions on that video about what my sub season was and what my wow colors are. So House of Color does sub seasons differently than how I've seen other places describe it. I've seen like true autumn and deep autumn and the same for some of the other seasons. But House of Color doesn't do that. They don't categorize it that way. It's more so they figure out your wow colors and then based on those colors, they determine your sub season. So my wow colors were all the blue shades and then some of the leaf shades. So she said my sub season was blue leaf. Okay, and then I'm just using a beauty blender because I like the way that it feels. It just feels like it is a little bit more refreshing than a brush, but I don't know if it really does anything more. So next I use the Kosas Concealer. This is also fantastic. And this is in the shade 1.5C. With that, I just put that under my eyes right here, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin. And then I have a little bit of redness around my nose. So I'm just gonna do it there too. And I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender to blend that out. So I definitely need to do a closet clean out. I'm gonna make a video about that too because this is seriously one of the only items of clothing that I have that are in my season. And this isn't even one of my wow colors. I've been kind of struggling to find things within my season, at least with online shopping, because anytime that I try to describe a color, by being like warm red this or warm blue this. It just shows items of clothing that would keep you warm, not actually the color itself being a warmer shade of that color. You would not believe the amount of black t-shirts I have. I have so many and I'm gonna have to part ways with some of them and just add some more colors that look good. All right, so that is the first part of the base all complete. Next thing I do is contour with the Hollywood contour wand. I definitely like that it is a liquid contour. I feel like it blends really nicely. And for that, I use this angled brush. This brush set, by the way, is from Half Caked. It's kind of a smaller brand. You don't hear a lot about it on social media, but I think these brushes are fantastic and they're really cute. I also got a new swimsuit in my colors and I'm so excited. The top is orange and the bottom is kind of like, looks like a, how do you pronounce that word? Kaleidoscope? Kaleidoscope? But it literally has all my colors in it. Did I go too hard with my nose? I kind of wasn't paying attention. I might have used too much. Does it look good? Hopefully. So the next thing is going to be blush. This is the first product that I think really is within my autumn season. When I got my color analysis done, she told me that foundation and everything won't change based on your color analysis. You want to just match it to your skin tone, but mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick, and blush, you would want to do the right colors. So we're gonna do right about here and right about here. It's a nice little amount. A little goes a long way with this stuff. And I'll stab that in with my fingers. So as you can see, it's definitely like a coral, warmer toned blush, which is lovely. Adds a nice little bit of color. Okay, two last things for the main face and then we'll move on to the eyes and the lips. For my under eye, I do a little bit of powder. My under eyes are pretty dark and so this just gives me a little bit more coverage under there. Like that, look at the difference. Powder makes a big difference, wow. Pretty. That looks so good. I also go on top of my eyelids just cause it's also kind of dark in the little corners of my eyes. 
Ugh, I love it. Okay, and last but not least is highlighter. I use the Kylie Cosmetics highlighter. This is the only highlighter that I use and somehow it's not even close to being run out. So this might last me forever. <laughs> so I do that down the bridge of my nose and then in the corner of my eyes, just kind of brightens up my eyes. And then we'll go on my cheekbones and then above my lip just for, just for kicks. Okay, moving on for eyebrows. All I do is use this little spoolie thing I got from Amazon and I just run through my eyebrows with water. I could fill them in because they're more sparse in this area, but it probably would look fine. I just don't really like it. <laughs> It'll be cool. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I also don't go too crazy. I like to keep it nice and natural. So I'm just going to use this bronzer. This is also from Jane Iredale, but any old bronzer will work. During my color analysis, she didn't do my eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure since browns are in my season, just doing a little brown eyeshadow looks good. So I'm just gonna use that to define my crease, but I really like to keep it natural. I don't do anything crazy with my eyeshadow. I don't do eyeliner. So that's it for that. Okay, so now let's do mascara. This is the new mascara that I have, and this is in the shade Crystal, which is a brown black. Let's see what she looks like. All right, here's the first eye done. I can see a difference, especially my lower lashes when I got up close to them. You can definitely tell. Also, I feel like my eyes look brighter than they normally do. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye and then we will try the two lipstick colors. All right, so that is the mascara all completed. I really like it. I don't know if it's just because this mascara is fantastic or if I'm really noticing a difference between my normal black mascara and this brown mascara. Okay, so next up, let's try the lipsticks. I wanna try this one first because I did this one in my color analysis and this one I have not tried. I'm not a big lipstick girly, really. I really don't wear lipstick on the daily, but I think that's because I've always worn cool tone pink lipsticks and just not really love them. Okay, I definitely need some practice with applying lipstick, but this is the color. I'm gonna try putting some Vaseline on top of it because I read that if you want to make the color less bold, you can kind of mix it with a lip balm or something. So you still get the pop of color, but it's not as intense. Also, Vaseline just feels so nice. <laughs> I feel like having the color on my lips really makes all my other features stand out more. Okay, so now I'm going to take this off and we will try the Rust, which is the deeper color. I really love this color. I feel like it is a little bit warmer, a little bit less pink, but it just feels very me. And whenever you look at my face, I feel like it just looks like a completed makeup look and you're not drawn right away to the lips. They're not the thing that stand out. It's just kind of everything complements each other and makes me stand out, you know? One of the main takeaways I have from the color analysis is that you want your makeup and your clothing and everything to make you stand out and for it not to be the star of the show. Similar to whenever you have the right clothing on, how your eyes pop, the right makeup makes your eyes pop. Compared to before I had the lipstick on, I feel like the lipstick makes my eyes pop more. I'm really happy with these lipsticks. I love both of the shades that I got. This is the completed makeup look all done. I really like how it looks and I'm very happy with the new products and this new makeup routine. Also, I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning of my video, but since my last video, I have changed my hair color. Sorry, I completely forgot to mention that. This has been like a whole makeover, hair, color analysis, new makeup routine. And next on the list will be wardrobe. So stay tuned for a closet clean out video and trying to build my new wardrobe. And I would love to have you join me on this journey. So if you want to subscribe that would be great i really appreciate it again thank you so much for all the love on my last video but that is it for this one and i will see you in the next one